the thing about the Jack Z era, and I've said this before on different podcasts, is I think a lot of it had to do with bad luck more than anything. Um, the Jack Z era drafted high every, I mean, just about every year. You look yeah. back at, you know, uh, Mike Zanino and, and Dustin Ackley and Danny <laughs> Holson and, you know, all of these players, DJ Peterson, Alex Jackson, all of these players were industry renowned. I mean, the, you can argue all you want about, oh, you know, well, why did they take, uh, why didn't they take Anthony Rendon over this player? At the end of the day, every player that Seattle selected in that, in that gap was beloved by the industry. Mm -hmm. The problem is somewhere along the lines, they either got hurt or Seattle failed them, but the talent was there. So, you know, failure in terms of getting a player from the draft at the, at the big league level, it doesn't just, you know, it's not on scouting. It's not like we drafted busts. Seattle wasn't able to develop their talent and get them in a position to succeed. And, and uh, that's, that's interesting to hear you say that. So, so what you're suggesting really is just, you know, all the pieces were there, but in essence, the, the machine didn't, uh, you know, I guess the right parts were in the wrong places or, or something to that extent. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a number of things. Dustin Ackley should have been a good hitter there. Right. I mean, there's no way around it. He hit 330 everywhere, everywhere he went. And then he got promoted. And mm -hmm. um, I think personally his, the hitting coaches failed him. Um, his, his feet failed him with the bone spurs and he was never able to get, here's a perfect example. He was never able to get out of, out of his own head. Mike mm -hmm. Zanino was up way too early and he was up because uh, Miguel Olivo was, you know, absolutely awful at the time. And it was a ticket sales boon. <laughs> he should have been in the minor leagues for at least another entire year. Um, that's so, exactly. No, Mike no Z. that's Mike Z. Mike, Mike, Z, okay. Z. Mike Z should have been in double A for at least another year. Um, you know, and you just kind of go down the line, like Danny Holson blowing out his shoulder, uh, yeah. James, James Paxton taking as long as he did, but he worked out, uh, DJ right. Peterson getting hit in the face with a fly ball. I mean, <laughs> the list goes on and on and on, but at some point as they get to the big league level, it has to be, okay, what are, what are the coaches in Seattle not doing to equip these guys for success? Some of the guys like, you know, Alex Jackson, DJ Peterson, some of these guys were bound to be failures just because of the types of people that they are. They, they struggle. But I will take to my grave that Dustin Ackley should have been a good big league hitter and the organization failed him. I, I love hearing you say this because we uh, we did a, something on our on our show we have called questions from the dugout. And one of the questions was, who's your least favorite manner, Mariner of all time? And right before uh, we hopped on this interview with you, we were recording that and we brought up Dustin Ackley and just didn't really know the background. Right. And uh, it's going to be funny for our listeners kind of hearing you uh, have his back <laughs> after we had just kind of well, said look, like, we just didn't like him as, as a mariner because he never produced, but then, right. you know, we don't think about that background music of what was the, what were the coaches doing at that time to help them develop? Maybe they weren't doing much. And, 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 the, and the, the, the really thing that makes us salty about the situation again, because as to Joe's point, right. The, this, this Dustin Ackley guy, um, what we dra we drafted ahead of Mike Trout. And he was supposed to produce, I think, it, it, in tandem with expectations to um, what he actually produced, right? Which is, it could be like a, a relevant kind of scenario in which we can have a conversation about what the Mariners are currently dealing with, right? We have a lot of promising young talent, but at the end of the day, how many of them will actively produce? Um, yeah. So food for thought. I mean, that's always the question. Um, I will say this just because... I like to get this point in whenever I can. Mike Trout, and this is a big draft note uh, nugget for you guys. Mike Trout is always the guy that gets brought up like, oh, 24 teams missed with Mike Trout. We, <laughs> you know, Dustin Ackley was selected before Mike Trout. Well, and, you know, so were 23 other guys. Mm -hmm. But there were only, if my mind serves me right, there were three or four cross checkers. And that's the level above the area scout that went and saw Mike Trout. So realistically, of the 25 teams that drafted, uh, you know, in that Mike Trout area, really only four of them were going to actually pull the trigger on Mike Trout. And I think the A's were one, the White Sox were one, the Angels were one, and I don't remember the other one, but um, Seattle was never really in play uh, for Mike Trout because he's in 
cold weather ball in New Jersey, it was never, it was never going to happen. 